Hey, my name is Michael, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Android product icon template that you can get from applypixels.com. Some of the highlights from this template includes rendering all Android app icon sizes from a single size. You get a smart preview of your app icon inside an Android screenshot, and you get one-click export actions to spit out exactly the files that you need to bundle with your app. What you need is this folder downloaded from applypixels.com, and inside it, you'll find a PSD file, a readme file, and an actions file, and you'll need a copy of Photoshop. Before we get started, we need to import the actions that come bundled with the template. You do that simply by double-clicking the ATN file, and that adds this folder to your actions pane in Photoshop. Now let's dive into the template. Open up the main template PSD file. The main template PSD file looks something like this. Now the idea behind this template and most of my other icon templates on applypixels.com is that you're editing only the largest size and you have all of the other sizes rendered out automatically. In the layers pane in your right hand side, you should notice a layer called edit me and save. You wanna right click that and hit edit contents. That opens up the nested smart object. This is a 512 by 512 pixel canvas and it's in here that you'll create your Android product icon. There's a bunch of neat little building blocks that comes bundled with this template. Let's just quickly look at some of them. First of all, we have a folder here called grid. Enabling this shows you what Google calls their keyline shapes. This is a grid of the basic shapes that Google proposed that you use for your product icons. Keyline shapes actually consist of four core shapes. You've got your square, you've got your circle, you've got a vertical rectangle and a horizontal rectangle. Now, if I show all of these, the watchful viewer will notice that how it aligns perfectly with the grid that Google has proposed. So these are your basic shapes and you can use them to build off any icon you want. Obviously, you can go ahead and do whatever you want in this canvas. It doesn't actually have to be built off these shapes, but these are the shapes that Google proposed that you use. And there's a lot of good reasons why you want to stay within the conventions of the platform. And I really encourage you to read more about the design manual that Google has set forth for Android. I've got a wonderful article written just about this on applypixels.com. Let me just hide the grid for a moment and show you what's inside each of these keyline shape folders. We got some neat little things for testing like alpha and beta fold and alpha and beta badges, but we also have things like this very subtle gradient light. It's a directional light from the top left corner and that is also something that Google proposes that you use to create tactility in your product icons. You obviously don't need to use these, but I've included them for easy reference. There's a neat little fold that you can use to build off and here's the glyph that we're using on Apply Pixels. And you'll notice how I've included a long shadow, which is quite common on the platform. Unfortunately, making long shadows from glyphs isn't as simple as just applying an effect. This is actually a custom vector that I've made. I've included this for reference, but you'll have to make your own. The last but quite big thing that's included in this template is the many but very specific colors set forth in the design manual. Masked onto the base keyline shape, you'll find a bunch of different colors correctly named after the guidelines. Let's just change this icon from a blue 500 to a wonderful pink 500. Google uses something they call edge highlights and edge shadows, and the colors are linked in a very specific way. Here we can add an edge brown, for example, to our shape giving it a little bit of tactility. Before we wrap this up, I wanna talk about one last thing. Notice how I'm including transparency in this canvas. I've gotten a lot of questions about why I'm not utilizing the entire canvas. And you can do that by all means, but I wanna direct your attention again back towards the keyline grid shapes. These are the shapes and the boundaries that Google proposes that you use. So sure, you can fill up the entire canvas if you'd like, but these are the basic shapes and the basic boundaries that they propose that you use for your icon. It adds a little bit of air around it and I think that's fine. But in the end, it's your icon and pretty much everything is allowed on this platform. Once you're done and happy with your icon, all you need to do is save the PSB file. Once it's saved, you can close it up and now you'll notice how all of the different sizes have been rendered out automatically. That's pretty cool. We even have this neat little preview where you can see your icon inside a screenshot. You can use this to compare both the sizes, the shapes, the colors to existing stock icons. 
once you're done, you need to go back and find the actions that we imported before and simply choose the export all sizes and hit play. Hit you with a dialog box, just hit save, save it. And you can now find a folder called Android product icon. And inside it, you'll find all of the different sizes that you need. And that is how you use the Android product icon template. You can get this template on a bunch of other cool design resources by becoming a subscribing member at applypixels.com. I really hope this template helps you create better icons. Thanks for watching.